just because you are willing to take more risk, should you be taking that level of risk? At the same time, somebody on the opposite side of the equation that is very scared of the market, doesn't like any risk at all, should they be putting their money underneath the mattress? So in order to determine what is the appropriate risk level for you, we have to take a variety of things into context based upon your objectives, what's important for you in retirement, what should your inflation rate be? What are we trying to do with the investments? What do we need to do in order to make sure that you're able to maintain your comfortable retirement, still keep up with inflation, and get a fair rate of return? So risk has to be balanced. We need to make sure that we're not put, you're not putting yourself in a situation when it comes to risk where you can get hurt. Because here's the scenario that I see. Let's say some of you watching the video right now have already won the comfortable retirement. You have it, you won it, it's in the bag. And let's say you're heavily invested in the market and the market jumps up 30% tomorrow. Of course you're gonna be happy, your statement's gonna show, hey, you're up 30%, but is that gonna change your lifestyle? Are you now gonna sell your home and go buy a mansion look, you know, overlooking the ocean? Are you gonna go buy a new Ferrari? For most of you, maybe not. However, let's say you lost 30%. Could that have an effect on your retirement? Or maybe it doesn't have an effect on your retirement, but what about your psyche alone, knowing you lost that much money? Would that cause you to maybe lose some sleep or now start to adjust your income? You're like, oh my gosh, the market's down. Maybe I'm gonna put off that vacation or putting off uh, buying that new car this year because the market is down. Whatever risk you're taking, if you sit down with an advisor that specializes in retirement planning, they can sit down with you, look at your goals, look at your, your, your objectives, and then decide what is the appropriate risk level for you. Something that creates balance and enhances what you're doing, not taking away from what you are doing. So if you have questions on this specific topic, and we actually have a program that we can actually send you, um, if you would like, and the links are, are below, where you, it's kind of like a test that you can do online, and it helps us to figure out what your comfort level is risk-wise. It'll give you a score, but then once we get that score, we have to fur further design it and, and, and translate it into, just because your risk score is this, is this where you really should be? And that's where we can further fine tune and make sure that whatever it is that you're doing is working in conjunction with everything else. So if you have any questions on any of these topics, once again, you have the links below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in.